Matt Stan here from Flexible, and today we're going to talk about how to set up UTM parameters inside Google Analytics from Facebook ads. Let's dive in. If you're a lead gen and you're into media buying and spending money on ads, it's so, so important that you track what's going on and know where your best leads are coming from, your sales are coming from, where your client sales are coming from, and you can't do that without really diving into the data or at least having it set up so you can go through and uh, check it out later. And I'm gonna pass you over to Graham now that's gonna show you how to set all this up so it's super easy to do from Facebook ads and you can get it set up. And if you're not a tech person, then at least you're gonna have some data populating inside Analytics and you can send that to a data person or whatever later on. So it's a really good practice to get set up. I'm gonna hand you over to Graham and I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, and thanks Dan. Just gonna be a quick tutorial on how to set up your UTM parameters on a Facebook conversion campaign and to bring it in to Google Analytics where then you can start doing reports and things like that. Okay, so firstly, you wanna create your analytics account if you haven't already. You just wanna sign up to Google Analytics and create uh, a GA4 account and then you wanna create a property. Pretty standard, I'm not gonna go through that. But then basically what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the setup assistant now, if you've just signed up, you should go directly to this anyway. Um, but you want to go to data, data streams, which is here. And now I've just set this one up. Uh, it's a demo. And to add this to your site, you can do it directly. So you can do it manually, which I'll just show you quickly how to do this here. Let this load up. Or you can do it via Google Tag Manager. Um, so this is the manual Bit, so you just copy and paste that and put it on your page before the body end tag. I always prefer to do my stuff in Google Tag Manager. So to do that, you're gonna need this measurement ID. So we just press copy there. And then you wanna to go to your Tag Manager, you wanna set up Tag Manager, which again, very simple. You just go and create that. And then you go to Tags here. Uh, this is where you wanna start creating your, your tags. So I've already created them here, but um, if you wanna do it, uh, you want to go and just call this uh, GA4 config. And then you want to go uh, and select Google Anal Analytics GA4 configuration. This is where I want a measurement tag in there. Just paste your measurement tag in there. And then on the trigger, you just want to go all pages. And then you want to press save. Um, I'm not going to save that uh, because I've already got it here. Now, the second thing you want to do you want to add a, a generate lead event. So for example, in your funnel or, or you know on your page, you're going to have a page that it hits. So for, for example, ours is this thank you page. Once they go through, put their details in, sign up for the product or the service, whatever, uh, they're going to hit this page. Uh, so I want to make sure there's an event that fires, which is a conversion. And I want it to be generate lead. So just set this up. You want to go to new. Uh, you want to go to tag configuration and you want to select Google Analytics uh, GA4 event. And you want to obviously rename this as a GA4 event dash generate lead, which is what we've done here. Just to show you this. So you want to select your configuration tag as your GA4 config, which is what, what we've just done here. Uh, and then in the event name, you want to use uh, this specific generate underscore lead. And you want to use that. Uh, there are, if you just uh, Google... Um, you know, the standard uh, events that are in a a analytics, you can find it here. Um, just get this up for you. Uh, so it's this thing here, uh, recommended events, and it'll show you all these, and this is how you want to write it in there. So obviously you can see generate underscore lead. That's how you want to write it in there. And then the par parameter name, I'm just going to put lead, uh, and the value is the page URL. So that will just uh, show which page it's firing on. If you've got multiple uh, generate lead pages, then that's obviously a good idea. And that's in event parameters. Uh, and then you last thing you want to do is you want to go to advanced settings and you want to go to tag sequ sequencing and you want to fire a tag before this event fires, which is the GA4, because obviously they um, speak to each other and they work in unison. Uh, so you want to select um, fire a tag before GA4 event generate underscore lead and it's the GA4 config, okay? And then on triggering, uh, you want to go and you want to create a trigger based off of your lead page. So ours is a thank you page. So what you go and do is you just go and press plus. Uh, you just wanna call this something like thank you page. You wanna go uh, click on tag, tr trigger configuration. 
I would normally go page views, some page views, uh, select page URL, and then contain something like thanks, and then just press save, and then add that to um, the uh, tag. Obviously, once you've done that, you, you want to press save, and then you want to just press submit uh, and publish, and then continue. You can name it if you wish. Um, and so once we've done that, uh, we want to actually put this uh, Google uh, tag on our pages. So if you're working on something like WordPress, there's loads of plugins for this, or you can just pop this code somewhere on your WordPress, which is pretty simple. I'm doing a uh, tag manager at the moment. Sorry, not tag manager, unbounce. Um, so what I would do on each page of the funnel, I would put the head code in the head. Um, and then how do you add another one? Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, and then I would add the body one uh, before body end tag. Yep. I go back there and I just want to copy this one here and press save and republish. That's that. I'm just show you. I had actually added added this one to show you how to do it. So you just copy and paste that what I showed you before. Uh, the GA4 manual inst installation is there. Uh, but now I've got G G2 on there. I don't want that on there. So I'm gonna press save and republish. Now on WordPress, if you add it via a plugin or something like that, it should be across all your pages. <clears throat> on Unbounce, you need to add it to every single page. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. I, I'm not going to bore you by letting you watch this. So I'm just going to pause it. One sec. Okay, cool. So now that's all been added. Uh, we just want to double check that it's firing on the page now. Um, so let's just go to this first one. Uh, and you can do this. You will, If you haven't got this, you want to go to the Chrome store and you want to download uh, Google Tag Assistant because this helps you see if uh, the tag is on the page. And uh, it should come up with a one. So the ones on there, let's just see. Cool, so that's on there, all good. Let's go to this one as well. And again, you wanna go, just press it and enable and then refresh the page. Oh, so that's on there, um, and then ah, republish. Always important to republish the pages. Unpublish, unpublish, cool. Okay, let's just refresh this then. There we go, cool. So we've got Tag Manager and the Global Site Tag, which is our analytics. Um, that should be on this one as well. We didn't see that one, can't. Let's just double check. It sorted itself out now. So there's your Tag Manager and your global site tag, so you, you want to be looking for both of these on, on there. It can, as I said, it can take a while. Um, this one's got the two on there as well, which is perfect, and so has this one. Cool. So that's all sending data to Google Analytics now, which is good. If you just want to double check here, so it's still saying no data received in the past 48 hours. It can take a while for that to start showing, um, but if we go to home, <coughs> Uh, in the last 30 minutes, so it will start showing that. So it's obviously working. We've just had three views there, which was the three I've just done. One, this is the one I did a little bit earlier. So it may take up to 24 hours to appear in your analytics account. So do bear that in mind. But so that is all set up correctly currently. So that's good. The next thing we want to go and do, we've set up the event in Google Tag Manager, but now we want to make sure it's, it's sounded as a conversion. Um, so I've actually created this one. Uh, so you can easily create a new version event. Uh, you can just create it here and press save. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do it, but I always like doing it and just marking it as a conversion. Uh, events will populate after 24 hours, really. Um, so you can easily do that. And then once that's done, that's your analytics set up. And then we can go uh, and see how we create it, create the UTMs in Facebook ads that are going to automatically, automatically come into analytics. And then we can populate and do reports based off of what conversions have happened on what ads, ad sets and campaigns, okay? So obviously I've set up a demo campaign, a demo ad set, very simple. This is a new sales ad. So this is, yeah, just a very simple ad, nothing special. This is more to show you how to do it. 
So we wanna go back here and get the first page, which is our quiz page. We're going to, um, let's just bring that out. Cool. So we wanna add this as the website URL and you wanna do a build a URL parameter. Okay, so campaign source, this is gonna be UTM source. Now I like using dynamic uh, creative, so I always go campaign name. And um, it's important to remember name-based URL parameters, uh, they take the first ever name that is published as. If you change the name after it's been published, uh, this will always show the first name it was ever published at. So by the, bear that in mind. Now people do this differently. So campaign source, you could you could put as just a static field as Facebook. People use it differently, so that's where the source is. Um, I tend to just do it this way. You you can do it whichever way you want. But I'll go source as campaign name. Uh, medium is uh, ad set name. And content is the ad name. And the campaign name I just put as Facebook. Uh, you can add your own parameters on there as well. Uh, and there are other dynamic ones as well. If we just quickly just see what so there's a placement as well so i'll probably add a placement one as well but that won't show up in um google analytics under their standardized utms their standardized utms are utm source utm medium utm name sorry utm campaign and utm content so i'm just going to use those four for now this is the url preview so obviously it's created you uh, your url that you've put in there and then also adding the utm source utm medium utm campaign and utm content on there I'm going to press apply. That will create your link like this. And that's what people will click on. And that's where people will go to. Okay. So once that's done, let me just show you what will happen. So I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to paste this in. And now I'm going to replace this with whatever I've called it. So that will be demo campaign. This will be demo Ad set uh, that will be static, and this will be a new sales ad. Actually, yeah, let's put a space in, and that should get some ads in there. So that's basically what people will click on, and that's where it will go to. It'll be dynamic for whatever it's been called. Let's call that sales ad one. Press enter. As you can see, so it's come through. Now, because GTA is on there not GTA, sorry, <laughs> GA4. Um, that will automatically grab the UTMs and bring it inside analytics. Now, where we go and see this, uh, we, won't, we won't go to see it yet, but where we go and see this is in user acquisition. So basically you can go and select here. So user source uh, or user medium. There's also a user campaign. Uh, let's just click on source uh, and, it, and, and it will register any uh, conversions that you've, uh, you've you've done as well. So if we go through and just fill this out quickly. Oh, this is a, a long one. So you gotta make sure that um, the UTMs are carried across, which I don't think they're being done in this lead to quiz at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna add them on now. Um, bear with me. There we go, so the UTMs are there now. And that comes come through to your thank you page. Um, and then it should populate in your user acquisition um, thing, uh, reports. Uh, so we'll just have to wait until that comes through. Um, so I will pause and come back to uh, when it's done. Cool. So you can see that uh, traffic has started to come through. 
Um, and just want to show you that the conversion uh, is actually uh, firing as well because we landed it on the thank you page, which is good. Uh, so we're on user acquisition now. So you can see this is more like um, it will show you kind of where it's from. So the user source is from Unbounce. So that's the um, page builder we have used to build those pages. And then you can see the uh, medium is called a referral. If you click this little plus button uh, next to this button here, you can see uh, more information about other things. So you can see manual ad content is not set. Okay. Now where you want to go to go see your UTMs coming through are traffic acquisition. Okay. And you want to go down here, you want to select here and you want to go session source. And that's where you're going to start seeing your UTM. So you can see demo campaign has come through and the conversion has been attributed to the demo campaign, uh, which is good for our analytics. And then you can go see medium, which is a demo ad set. So you can see which ad sets are getting in the conversions as well. And then let's just see what the other session uh, campaign. So that's the campaign that we've set as Facebook campaign, which again, conversions are all coming through. Uh, you can set your total re revenue inside the event at there. Um, and then well, you can go and see this bit here. Press, press that little plus button again. You wanna go traffic source, uh, and then you wanna make sure it's on session. And you can go to manual ad content, and that will be your ad name. So then you can kind of see uh, how, that's, how that ad's doing, how many uh, leads it's getting. I would use it with the session campaign, just in case you have multiple um, sources running. So say you've got multiple Facebook ad campaigns running. Um, I'd be using it with the one that says Facebook. Um, and then next we can go check yeah, I said, that is the last one actually, we, we, we've, done, we've done all four now. Uh, so you can cross reference it with a lot of stuff. So you can use the campaigns. So say you've got YouTube, Facebook, GDN running, you can have that as the first column. Second column, you could match it against the medium. So like the ad set name, sorry, I put in user, didn't I? Make sure okay. it's, always make sure it's session, session medium to see your UTMs basically. It's basically like a pivot table, like in Excel, but it means that you can see your data inside an analytics using UTMs and you can see all this kind of cool stuff. And as long as you set up your conversion, the way I showed you earlier, you'll be able to see your conversions based off of the UTMs. That's it for today's training. Cheers guys, bye-bye. Thank you so much, Graham. Right, so if you did like this video on analytics, then please give us a thumbs up so we know to create more like it. If you are looking to be the first to know whenever we create new videos, then please subscribe to our channel. And if you've got any questions for Graham or myself, please comment in the comment box below. I'll speak to you later.